Yo, what is going on guys? It's Cryptic TMG and I'm back with a brand new video. This time I'm going to be showing you guys the little trick that people are using with the steering rotation on ACC that most people probably haven't come across or realized yet. Um, I know there's quite a few people using it. Shout outs to Dan McCormack who was the one who actually showed me this for the first time but also recently seeing Jardy was doing the same as well. So um, let's get stuck into the steering rotation and first things first, the first thing you guys are going to need is actually the steering lock of all the cars on acc and you can see if you just type into google uh steering lock on acc you might see the coach dave website pop up and it's got all the steering locks for all of the cars um if you are on a fanatec wheel it's not really a problem because you can change to the exact steering locks you want via the wheel if you are on a frost master you're only able to change from um sort of 10 1080 to 900 to 540 so you kind of want to make sure you set this in the Frostmaster control panel before you actually get on the game so before you get on the game you want to decide which car you want to use or which car you're going to use let's just say for argument's sake we're going to use the ferrari 488 so 480 is the steering angle that we need in the uh Frostmaster control panel so let's jump over to the Frostmaster control panel so jump over to your Frostmaster control panel. There you can access your wheel, then hit properties. And you can see by default, normally your wheel will be on 900 degrees and on the game you'll set it to 900 degrees. But as I said, we're gonna be driving the Ferrari 488. So we're actually gonna switch this number to 480, which as you know, is the correct rotation for the Ferrari 488. So we'll leave that at 480, close that up, start the game. So now we're on the game, we're gonna jump into the options, go into the controls. And as you can see, the wheel is set to 900. But normally, if you've in your control panel, if you set your wheel to sort of 480, like we've done in the 488, then people tend to try to match it up with what they do in game as well. So in game, you have 480, and on your Frostmaster control panel, you have 480. But actually, what people are starting to do now is they're actually starting to run this at 0%. Now, you might think, why would you do that? And the only thing I can say is for what, you know, what was told to me is that you get better reaction time with your wheel at zero because it's not really using the in-game rotation. It's only using the rotation straight from your wheel. So effectively, it's only having to send information to your wheel, not to your wheel and to the game at the same time. So you kind of want to try and limit the different amount of delays you can have to your wheel for your inputs and steering. So we're actually going to try run this at zero percent. It's already at 480 on the wheel itself. And that's what we're going to use to get the rotation in the game. And I can tell you, when I tried it straight away, I could feel there was a slight difference in the just how the car reacted sort of instantly as I turned the wheel. And for me, definitely not going back to having even 900 degrees or matching, you know, one for one with, you know, the Frostmaster uh, control panel to the in-game sort of controls. I'm literally leaving the steering lock at zero and I'm just going to run it off of the Frostmaster control panel. As I said before, I've seen quite a few people doing this now. So if you guys want to try this out for yourselves, I would try it out. Tell me what you think in the comments, whether it's made a difference, whether you can notice a difference in, you know, how quick the steering seems to react, your inputs. And for me, definitely, it was a bit of a game changer. But anyway, it's Crypto TMG. Like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell to catch my videos first. And peace.